Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Again, I want to thank everyone for your support on the channel. All the viewers, all the subscribers immensely appreciate the support. Today, I want to do a quick video talking about three stocks for a dividend capture swing trading type of strategy. Three stocks that have upcoming ex-dividend dates this next week. And three stocks I've talked about on the channel in the past as very good contrarian investments. Although I do believe for two of these stocks, the prime point to jump in has probably passed. But nevertheless, I do believe these are still very good stocks moving forward. The first stock we'll talk about, you can see here up on screen, Target TGT. If we scroll to the bottom here, you can see that this is a very large retail stock. Uh, one of the largest retail stocks, one of the longest active retail stocks as well. You can see I've had this for quite some time. You can see the earnings here, last reported earnings, Q3 2017. Definitely has been coming back a bit, has yet to report Q4 2017. As you can see in the middle there, that will be coming up on March 6th, pre-market trading. You can see the dividend yield in the middle there, very, very good, 3.7. Very large company, 41.17 billion. And if we scroll back up to the top here, you'll see why I had talked about this as a very good contrarian investment. If you take a look at the one-year graph, you can see it's up 18%. Over the last three months, it's up 30.58%. You can really see here where it dipped down. This would have been the prime point to jump into the stock when it was trading in the $50 to $60 range. It has since been rebounding here again. Over the last three months, up 30.58%. You can see I jumped in at 69.78. So not too bad of a trade. Did not put in significant capital. And again, there's a lot of stocks in the portfolio. I only have one trade or one share, excuse me, is because I initially bought these when I established the portfolio. And a lot of my swing trading stocks, I'll jump in, buy quite a few shares, capture the dividend, and then jump out of the stock in a dividend capture type of strategy. So that's why a lot of the portfolio only has one share. Now I keep one share just to have uh, a good market representation throughout the portfolio. So I do believe this is a very good stock to jump into, despite it coming up 30.58%. I still believe it has some room to grow. And again, this would be a very good dividend capture swing trade. The important numbers for this stock, the ex dividend date will be later this week on the 20th of February. The payment date will be the 10th of March, 62 cents per share for a dividend of about 3.3% or so. So a very good dividend and a very good stock that you can hold longer term as well if you can't get out of the swing trade. The next stock here, is a stock I've talked about quite a bit on the channel, GE here, General Electric. As you guys probably know, it has struggled mightily over the last one year here, as you can see, down 48.98%. And over the last five years, you can really see how this has dived down from the $20 to $30 range, all the way down to sub $15 range. I believe it was around $13 at one point as well. I could be wrong about that, but it definitely was diving down $14.45. Looks like it, the the nadir here was the lowest it has been. But this might be a very good contrarian investment. It definitely has been reorganizing the company. It'll be a very different company coming out of that reorganization. But I still believe this is a very good company, or at least a company that would be a very good contrarian investment. But again, contrarian investments are very, very risky. There's no guarantee that this stock will jump back up to where it was before, like Target has done. So this is a high risk, high reward type of trade. But I do believe that there is some value even doing a dividend capture swing trade with GE here. The important dates for GE, the ex-dividend date will be later in the week on the 23rd of February. The payment date will be on the 25th of April. There will be a dividend of 12 cents per share for a dividend yield of around 3.2%. So I think this is a very good dividend capture swing trade. And it might be a very good contrarian investment as well. But again, contrarian investments are going against the grain of what the investment community is thinking about a stock. So it's very, very risky. But on the flip side, it can be a very, very good reward as well. So high risk, high reward type of trade with GE. And the last stock is another stock I've talked about extensively on the channel. And that stock is LB, L Brands, the parent company of Victoria's Secrets, as well as Bath and Body Works. Again, this was a very good contrarian investment as well. If we take a look at the five-year graph, dipping down here, I think it was sub $36 or so before rebounding here. It has come back a bit, but you can see at one point this was an $80, $70 to $80 stock. 
almost $90 stock. So this could be a very good contrarian play moving forward as well. If we go to the bottom on earnings here, you can see the actual EPS has not been reported yet. It'll be available on February 28th here after hours. So again, another reason to maybe jump into Robinhood Gold, as I've talked about on my last video. You can see here the earnings did drop off quite a bit in 2017 quarters one, two, and three. There is expected to be somewhat of a rebound, but I think the actual EPS is supposed to be a little bit under the expected of 2.01. Could be wrong about that, but as you can see here, because the price has come back so significantly, the dividend yield is very, very good, 7.456%. One of the best dividend yields I've posted on the channel for quite some time for a dividend capture swing trade. Very large company, $13.8 billion. And again, it has some very good underlying brands, very good customer loyalty brands. Victoria's Secrets uh, is probably the best known, but also Bath & Body Works and a few other brands as well. So I think this is a very good stock for a dividend capture swing trade, but also maybe a very good contrarian play as well. LB, the important numbers for LB here, the dividend Ex-dividend date will be on the 22nd of February. The payment date will be on the 9th of March. It'll be $0.60 cents per share. For dividend yield, right around 5% or so. And again, it's going to be a little bit lower than that 7.456%, just because the price has rebounded here a bit over the past one year here, as you can see. It is still down 12.1%, but from the last quarter, uh, it has come up a bit from really $36, $37 or so up to $50. You can see that here in the graph as well. So very good contrarian investment with L Brands here. Maybe even a very good longer-term buy and hold stock. But I think it's a very good stock for dividend capture swing trade as well. So again, the three stocks, LB, L Brands, GE, General Electric, and TGT Target. Three stocks that have upcoming ex-dividend dates this next week. So that is what I'm going to be looking at this next week. Let me know what you guys are looking at for dividend capture swing trades as well. Not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys enjoy the videos, if you guys enjoy the content, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have questions about this video or other videos, please leave it down in the comment section down below. And I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. So kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.